It's me Jenny and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this super easy beanie. This is for my size, adult woman size. Um, the head circumference is 20 inches around and from the top all the way down here it is 8 and a half inches. Okay, the stitch that I use is double crochet stitch and the last four rounds right here it is the single crochet stitch and I crochet at the third loop and that's how you get this beautiful knit like stitches I'm going to show you how to crochet that and um, took me half an hour to finish this beanie and the yarn that I use is this Karen sprinkle cakes this is by yarn inspiration um this is super bulky with yarn number six and colorway is mocha rainbow okay so i made one beanie out of one cake and i have still a lot left and i can st still make another beanie same size out of this one cake um this is 240 grams or 8.5 ounce and the yardage is 204 yards or 186 meters the fiber contains 77 percent acrylic 20 percent wool and three percent other fibers very beautiful yarns i like all these rainbow spec and the crochet hook that i use for this size um 20 inches head circumference is six millimeter if you want to make it bigger or um, if you want to make it 22 inches, you can use 7 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so without further ado, let's start. Okay, so we're going to start by making a slip knot and you can do your slip knot however way that you prefer. So this is how I normally do my slip knot. Twist the yarn, hold it right there, hook into this loop yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop and pull this tail okay so that's how i do my slip knot now we're going to chain four one two three and four now we're going to slip stitch into the first chain right here slip stitch And we made a ring so now we're going to do round one and for round one we're going to start with chain two one two now we're going to make 12 double crochet into this ring and this chain two does not count as the stitch count okay so this is the first double crochet this is one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so once we made 12 double crochet, now we're gonna finish up round one by doing slip stitch at the first double crochet right here. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Just pull this tail to close the hole at the center okay so now let's start round two for round two we're going to start with chain two one 
two and now we're going to make two double crochet into every stitch okay so this chain two does not count as the stitch count so at the first stitch right here we're going to make two double crochet one and two so next stitch we're going to do two double crochet as well one and two next stitch two double crochet one and two and you're going to repeat the same make two double crochet into every stitch until you reach the very last stitch right here okay so go ahead and finish up round two i'll see you once you're done okay so once you're done with round two you made two double crochet into every stitch you should have total of 24 stitches now go ahead and slip stitch at the first double crochet right here to finish up round two okay so this is how it looks like now for round three we're going to start with chain two one two now we're going to make two double crochet one at the first stitch and one at the second stitch and next we're going to make two double crochet into the third stitch okay so this chain two does not count as the stitch count so the first double crochet we're going to start right here the first stitch one and two one two double crochet next we're going to make two double crochet next stitch one and two now we're going to repeat two double crochet one two and two double crochet next stitch so one two and two double crochet next stitch one two and two double crochet next stitch one and two now we're going to repeat two double crochet one two and two double crochet next stitch one and two repeat two double crochet one two and two double crochet next stitch one and two okay so go ahead and finish up repeat the same two double crochet and two double crochet next stitch until you reach the very last stitch right here and I'll see you once you're done okay so once you're done with round three you should have total of 32 stitches around now go ahead and slip stitch into the first double crochet right here to finish up round three okay so now let's move on to round four we're going to start with chain two one two now we're going to make three double crochet one two three and we're going to make two double crochet into the next stitch okay so we chain two and this chain two does not count as stitch count so now we're going to make three double crochet one two and three now two double crochet at the next stitch one and two now we're going to repeat the same sequence we're going to make three double crochet one two three and two double crochet next stitch one two three now two double crochet next stitch one and two okay so you're going to repeat the same sequence three double crochet and two double crochet next stitch until you reach the very last stitch right here and i'll see you once you're done <clears throat> okay so once you're done with round four you should have total of 40 stitches for zero now go ahead and slip stitch into the first double crochet right here to finish up round four okay so so far this is how it looks like now let's start round five we're going to start with chain two one two and now we're going to make nine double crochet and this chain two does not count as a stitch count 
so now we're going to make nine double crochet and we're going to start at the first stitch right here one two three four five six seven eight nine Okay, so once you made nine double crochet, next stitch we're going to make two double crochet. One and two. Now we're going to repeat nine double crochet and two double crochet next stitch until you reach the very last stitch. Okay, so you're going to repeat total of four times, four sequence of nine double crochet and two double crochet next stitch. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now two double crochet next stitch. One and two. Okay, so go ahead and finish up 9 double crochet and 2 double crochet next stitch until you reach the very last stitch and I'll see you once you're done. Okay, so once you're done with round 5, you should have total of 44 stitches. Now go ahead and slip stitch at the first double crochet to finish up round 5. Okay, so this is how it looks like. We are done with the increase. So for the next five rounds, round six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, all five rounds, we're going to start with chain two, one, two, and we're just going to make one double crochet into every stitch. Okay, so um, no increase from round six until round ten. Okay, so go ahead and finish up until you reach round ten, and I'll see you once you're done. Now once you're done with round 10, this is how it looks like. Okay, so now for the next 4 round, round 11, 12, 13 and 14, we're going to do single crochet round. So every round we're going to start with chain 1 and we're going to crochet into the third loop. Okay, so let me show you where's the third loop. So the regular stitch is this right here the V stitch and this is the front loop this is the front loop also the first loop this is the back loop the second loop and the third loop is at the back of the work right here this line this one this back bump this is the third loop. So you're going to crochet into the third loop right here. Okay, so start with chain one and we're going to make 44 single crochet and we're going to crochet into the third loop. Okay, you can see it right here if you turn your work. This bum, this bum, this bum. Okay, crochet right there. So one. This stitch right here. The third loop. This one. Three. Four. And five. Okay, so go ahead and finish up round 11 make 44 single crochet and crochet into the third loop or some call it the back bump okay so this is how it looks like you can see the stitch right here all the stitch is popping out because we crochet at the third stitch okay go ahead and finish up round 11 i'll see you once you're done 
Now once you crochet all 44 single crochet and you crochet at the third loop or the back bar, now you reach the very last stitch right here and this is the chain one where we started the beginning of the round. Just go ahead and slip stitch right there. This is the single crochet, the first single crochet right here. Just slip stitch, the regular slip stitch and we're done with round 11. So for round 12, 13 and 14 we're going to do exactly the same as round 11. Start with chain 1 and we're going to make 44 single crochet and we're going to crochet at the third loop right here or the back bump of the stitch. Okay, so it's exactly the same as round 11 and you're going to do another three rounds of it. Okay, so go ahead and finish up until you reach round 14. All the round, you're going to start with chain one, make 44 single crochet and crochet into the third loop right here or the back bump. Okay, so go ahead and finish up until you reach round 14 and I'll see you once you're done. Okay, so this is how the stitch looks like right now. I really love it. Okay, so I'll see you once you're done. Okay, so once you're done, crochet until round 14. Go ahead and slip stitch into the first single crochet right here to finish up round 14, the last round for this beanie. So chain one to secure stitches and cut the yarn. So just cut enough for you to weave in ends. Okay, I'm going to weave this in. Okay, so there you have it. This is how it looks like when it's done. And as I said earlier, this is 20 inches head circumference. And from the top down, it's eight and a half inches. And yeah, if you want to make it bigger, you can switch the crochet hook to seven millimeter or six and a half millimeter. Okay, so I hope you find this tutorial easy to follow. If you have any question, leave your question at the comment section down below. I'll try my very best to reply. Give me a thumbs up if you like. If you like this video, share this video with your fellow crochet friends. Um, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. That way you won't miss any of my future uploads. And also don't forget to follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. Okay, so for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care everyone and God bless you.